fact, we all use electricity, but have you ever wondered how we actually get it in our homes? Well, electricity comes from a number of sources in the UK, including nuclear reactors. BBC reporter Jordan Dunbar went to a nuclear power plant to find out more about the arguments for and against nuclear power. Hi, News Round. I got the chance to go to a nuclear reactor and I wanted to show you guys how nuclear power makes our electricity. There's big debate going on at the moment about nuclear power. Some people say it could help us produce cleaner energy. Others feel there are safety concerns that need to be looked at before we consider building more nuclear plants. So I got the chance to go to a nuclear reactor. Well, it's basically just a giant kettle. I'm not even joking. Let's get inside and I'll show you. I look like an astronaut. So beneath me right now is a nuclear reactor. That's where they split the atom. It's a few metres of lots and lots and lots of concrete, but it is just directly below us. OK, so first we need heat. And the thing that makes this is a mineral dug up from the ground called uranium. And it's made up of tiny, tiny pieces called atoms. In these deep concrete tubes, the workers here split these tiny atoms apart, which creates a huge amount of energy, which comes off as heat. Now stay with me, guys. This gets complicated. So that heats up a gas, which then heats up water, which turns to steam, just like a kettle. I wasn't joking. And that racket you can hear behind me are massive turbines. They're like big fans that are being turned around by the steam. That turning motion creates electricity, loads of electricity. But some people worry about nuclear reactors. That metal they use, uranium, it gives off dangerous energy as well as heat. If it escapes, it can be harmful to people. It's called radiation. So you might be worried about safety, and that's a big concern. The UK has really, really strict controls in place, which is why I had to do so many checks. Okay, so now I'm going to go through a body scan before we leave this area, just to check if there's no radiation. And yes, I was a wee bit scared. The nuclear industry say the power plants are safe and produce clean energy, which we need to help fight climate change. But when there are problems, they can be really dangerous. Like when the Fukushima nuclear power plant in Japan had a series of explosions after the tsunami more than 10 years ago. The surrounding area is still unsafe for people to live in. Making nuclear power also creates radioactive waste, and that has to be really carefully stored for many, many years before it's safe. The government plans to build even more of these reactors to make our electricity. In fact, next door is the biggest building site in Europe. The old plant that we were just in provided power for 1.4 million homes. This new plant is going to provide power for 6 million homes. That's how much bigger it is and how much better the new technology has gotten. This new power plant is so huge, they've had to build the world's biggest crane and they've called it Big Carl. The big reason people are keen to build more nuclear reactors is that once they're up and running, the electricity they make is very clean. There's no carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is one of the things that's causing climate change and the world to heat up. But these types of power plants are incredibly expensive. They cost billions of pounds, which is way more than solar panels and wind turbines. They also take a long time to build, up to 10 years just for one. So not everyone thinks they're a good idea.